Mohiniyattam, also spelled Mohiniyattam Malayalam, Mayahiniyattam is one of the eight classical dances of India that developed and remain popular in the state of Kerala. The other classical dance form from Kerala is Kathakali. Mohiniyattam dance gets its name from the word Mahini, a mythical enchantress avatar of the Hindu god Vishnu, who helps the good prevail over evil by deploying her feminine powers. Mohiniyattam's roots, like all classical Indian dances, are in the Natya Shastra, the ancient Hindu Sanskrit text on performance arts. However, it follows the Lasya style described in Natya Shastra, that is a dance which is delicate, eros filled, and feminine. It is traditionally a solo dance performed by women after extensive training. The repertoire of Mahinayatam includes music in the Carnatic style, singing and acting a play through the dance, where the recitation may be either by a separate vocalist or the dancer herself. The song is typically in Malayalam Sanskrit hybrid called Mandapravalam. The earliest mention of the word is found in the 16th century legal text Vyavaharamala, but the likely roots of the dance are older. The dance was systematized in the 18th century, was ridiculed as a Devadasi prostitution system during the colonial British Raj, banned by a series of laws from 1931 through 1938, a ban that was protested and partially repealed in 1940. The socio-political conflict ultimately led to renewed interest, revival and reconstruction of Mahinayatam by the people of Kerala, particularly the poet Valathal Narayana Menon. Etymology Mahiniyatam, also referred to as Mahini Adam, is derived from Mahini, a famous female avatar of the Hindu god Vishnu in Indian mythology. Mahini refers to a divine enchantress, supreme seductress. She appears in Hindu mythologies during a battle between Devas good and Asuras. Evil, after the evil had won control of Amrita. Nectar of immortality. Appearing in her youthful bloom, dressed rapturously she uses her charms to seduce the Asuras, who seeking her favours, give her the Amrita to distribute among the evil forces. Mahini after gaining the Amrita gives it to the good instead, depriving the evil from gaining immortality. The details of the Mahini story varies by the Purana and region, but she is consistently an enchantress avatar of the supreme in Vaishnavism. Adam is a Malayalam language word, and means rhythmic motion or dance. Mahiniyatam thus connotes a dance of an enchantress, a beautiful woman". History Mahinayatam is a classical Indian dance, which by definition traces its repertoire to the foundational text Natya Shastra. The Natya Shastra text is attributed to the ancient scholar Bharata Muni. Its first complete compilation is dated to between 200 BCE and 200 CE, but estimates vary between 500 BCE and 500 CE. The text describes the basic elements and the structure of two types of dance, the vigorous, high-energy Tandava dance Shiva and the gentle, calmingly graceful Lasya dance Parvati, Shiva's lover. Mahinayatam follows the structure and aims of the Lasya dance in Natya Shastra. According to Reginald Massey, Mahinayatam's history is unclear. Kerala, the region where this dance genre developed and is popular, has a long tradition of Lasya style dances whose basics and structure may be at the root. The earliest evidence of Mahinayatam, or a Mahinayatam like dance tradition, is found in temple sculpture of Kerala. The 11th century Vishnu temple at Trichodathanam, and the Kadangar Subramanya temple, have several sculptures of female dancers in Mahinayatam pose. The textual evidence from 12th century onwards suggests that Malayalam poets and playwrights included Lasya themes. The 16th century Vyavaharamala by Nambutiri contains the first known mention of the term Mahinayatam, in the context of a payment to be made to a Mahinayatam dancer. Another text, Gosha Yatra, from the 17th century too mentions the term. The 18th century Balarama Bharatam, a major secondary work on Natya Shastra composed in Kerala, mentions many dance styles including Mahini Natana. In the 18th and 19th century, Mahiniyatam grew as dance arts received patronage of competing princely states. In particular, the early 19th century sponsorship and building of a joint Mahiniyatam and Bharatanatyam team of artists by the Hindu king, poet and music composer Swati Tirunal Rama Varma contributed to the growth and systematization of modern Mahiniyatam. <laughs> Colonial era 
With the spread of colonial British rule in the 19th century India, all classical dance forms of India were ridiculed and discouraged, leading to their severely decline. This was in part the result of the Victorian morality of sexual repressiveness along with Anglican missionaries who criticised Hinduism. The seductive gestures and facial expressions during temple dances were caricatured in The Wrongs of Indian Womanhood, published at the start of the 20th century, as evidence of harlots, debased erotic culture, slavery to idols and priests. Tradition, and Christian missionaries demanded that this must be stopped, launching the anti dance movement or anti nosh movement in 1892. This movement affected all classical dances in India and contributed to their decline, including the stigmatization of Mahinayatam in the princely states of Travancore and Cochin in the British Empire. According to Justine Lamos, the conventional stereotype has been to label the temple dancers as prostitutes and that Mahinayatam was banned by the Maharaja under pressure from the British rule and his citizens, but an examination of historical evidence suggests that neither did any law or proclamation ban Mahinayatam nor is there any evidence that dance Dancing girls of Mahinayatam were devadasis, temple prostitutes or even menial servants of the temple. However, adds Lamos, there is evidence of rewards being given, scholarship being sponsored, and payments being made to the dancers of Mahinayatam, as well as laws enacted between 1931 and 1938 that, without naming Mahinayatam, banned devadasis, banned all forms of lewd dance or theatre and banned dancing in temples while the princely states of Kerala were part of the British Empire, in a manner similar to bans on Hindu performance arts in Madras, Bombay and Calcutta presidencies enacted earlier. In 1940, the ban was partially repealed, by allowing "...voluntary dances in temples". In 1941, a new law clarified that voluntary dance was permitted, but the dancers should never be paid. This led to protests, public riots and demands by dancers that performance art is a form of economic activity and religious freedom, that Mahinayatam artists should be paid by the state or the audience, but the state did not pay them. Some women continued to dance Mahinayatam in Hindu temples, regardless of the historic politics during the 1940s. Topic: <laughs> Dance movement. The ridicule and bans enacted during the British colonial era contributed to nationalist sentiments, and impacted all Hindu performance arts including Mahinayatam. It too was revived and reconstructed, particularly in the 1930s by the nationalist Malayalam poet Valathal Narayana Menon, who helped repeal the ban on temple dancing in Kerala, as well as established the Kerala Kalamandalam Dance School and encouraged Mohiniyattam studies, training, and practice. Other significant champions of Mahinayatam in the 20th century have been Mukundraha, Krishna Panikkar, Thankamoni, as well as the guru and dancer Kalamandalam Kalyanakuti Amma. Repertoire Mahinayatam is a lasya subgenre of dance, performed in the Kaisiki Vriti graceful style, as discussed in ancient Indian performance arts texts such as the Natya Shastra. More specifically, it is a dance that excels in Akaharya Abhinaya form, that is a solo expressive dance performance aided by singing and music. The dance includes en rita pure dance, solo, en ritya expressive dance, solo, and modern productions sometimes include natya play, group dance. The en rita performance is abstract, rhythmic aspect of the dance that appears early and at the end of the dance repertoire. The viewer is presented with pure movement, wherein the emphasis is the beauty in motion, form, speed, range and pattern. This part of the repertoire has no interpretive aspect, no telling of story. The enritya is the expressive aspect of the dance that attempts to communicate a storyline, with emotions and feelings, with spiritual themes. In a enritya, the dance acting expands to include silent expression of words through hand and facial gestures and body motion set to musical notes. The dancer articulates a legend or a spiritual message, aiming to engage the emotions and mind of the viewer. The basic posture of Mahinayatam is parted feet, knees bent outwards, an erect upper torso, gentle eight shape side to side swaying of body along with hips. The footwork is soft, sliding and synchronous with the musical beat and acting. 
The body movement is sometimes described in terms of calming images of nature as the swinging of the palm leaves, and the gentle undulating of ocean waves. The basic dance units in Mohiniyattam are known as Adivas or Adivakal, and these are grouped into four Taganam, Jaganam, Daganam, and Samisram. The hand and facial gestures of the dance follow the classical text of Hastalakshanadipika, which has elaborate description of mudras. Sequence The repertoire sequence of Mahinayatam is similar to that of Bharatanatyam, and contains seven items that are performed to a structure described in classical dance texts, Cholkatu invocation, but starts with offering reverence to a goddess Bhagavati and ends with a prayer to Shiva, Jatisvaram or more precisely Swarajeti Varnam a play wherein she embeds a mimicry for distraction while communicating the underlying story or message, Padam song, Talana dancer's interpretation of melody the musician create, Slakam and Saptam. Topic: Costumes. The costume includes plain white or off-white, such as ivory or cream-colored sari embroidered with bright golden or gold-laced colored brocade, similar to a ceremonial kasavu sari. She wears a fitted choli blouse matching the sari, below which at the waist is a golden belt which tucks in the end of the sari and highlights the waist. In front of the sari, below the belt is pleated sheet with concentric bands in gold or saffron colors, which allow freedom of movement and assist in visually communicating the mudra to distant audience. The dancer wears relatively simple jewelry and no masks, in contrast to the other major classical dance of Kerala called Kathakali. Her jewelry typically includes items on fingers, wrists, neck, and ears, which may have bells. The face makeup is natural, but lips are brilliant red. She has the Hindu tikka gobi on her forehead and her eyes are lined to help prominently highlight the eye movements during the dance. Her ankles are adorned with leather straps with bells, chilanka, feet and fingers colored red with natural dyes. Her hairdo is gathered and tied into a smooth tight round chignon on one side of her head, typically left, and the bun then ringed with fragrant flowers, typically jasmine mulla. Topic: Music and instruments. The vocal music of Mahinayatam involves various rhythms. There are numerous compositions for a Mahinayatam repertoire, most of whose lyrics are in Manipravalam, a mixture of Sanskrit, Tamil, and Malayalam. The musical instruments usually used in Mahinayatam are Murdangam or Madalam, barrel drum, idaka, hourglass drum, flute, veena, and kujatalam cymbals. The ragas melody are rendered in the sapana steps style which is a slow melodic style with roots in the natya shastra equals <laughs> equals gallery <laughs>